I'm Sarah Confort, the Planetarium Programs Coordinator at the Bell Museum. Now this spring in the west, you may have been seeing a bright object in the sky. Well, an object other than the sun, that is. And this bright object is actually Venus. And Venus will be visible until about mid-May this year. After sun sets, you're going to see another bright object in the sky joining Venus. And tonight we're going to explore that object and the constellation it belongs to. So grab your star map and your red flashlight, and let's get going. Around sunset, you will see Venus in the western sky. You'll know it's Venus because it will be bright, not moving, and not twinkling. Once it becomes dark out, about an hour later, you will see another bright object in the western sky, not too far from Venus. This one, however, will be twinkling, and that's how you'll know it's a star. This bright star is Capella, the sixth brightest star in the night sky, and the brightest star in the constellation of Auriga, the charioteer. We can trace Auriga, starting at Capella, down and around through Hassele to Elnath by Venus, then up through Manacolin, finishing with a point to Delta Auriga and back down to Capella. Auriga looks like an oddly shaped hexagon wearing a pointed hat. It's named the Charioteer because of its resemblance to the pointed helmet of a charioteer. Auriga is most often drawn holding a goat. While the chariot wouldn't have been pulled by goats, the reason for this comes from the origins of the bright star Capella. Translated, Capella means the goat, or the goat star, and has many origin stories surrounding it, all involving a goat or a herd of goats. Capella is a key star to know and find as you get your bearings in stargazing. It's also the only goat in my backyard. I hope that you get a chance to go outside and find Venus, Capella, and Auriga for yourself before they set for the summer season. Happy stargazing!